guys, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. Like, like I, I never thought that this moment would not happen. I, I gotta put my controller here. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, guys. You know, episode eleven of Red Nine Bokan, what you call Love Tyrant have always been the f has always demonstrated the comedy of love how love works the, f the funny ways of using the kiss note the the cosplay but man I, I couldn't it's like episode 11 did everything for us it kind of it's like we knew this was coming we knew the day Guri turns into a demon, this was the moment. And it, it kind of gives you, it, it gives you hints. Like, okay, if Guri's father is an angel, that means Guri's mother is the demon. And right now, in episode 11, which next week is the season finale, who we, we might know that, oh, that they're going to show Guri's mother. Maybe, maybe. But again, episode 11, I can't even like... This is what this is why I'm wearing this no game of life shirt. It's hard here, it's hurt, but then the pain just like <sighs> ripped out of it. Like, oh my god. Okay. I never thought this moment would come, but it came true. So let me let me start from the beginning. So G Shinji is looking for Guri. And G Shinji don't feel any affections towards Guri. He sees Guri like Cupid, just regular Cupid just doing her job. But she's, I mean, you, you're treating Guri like a dog. Like, Guri, I got canned food, I got candy. I'm like, you, are you treating her like a dog? What the fuck? I know she likes sweets in her book. You can't lure her to sweets like that. She's, she's Cupid. Then, Calgary, I forgot that name. That name sounds good. But that angel dude, you know, he was, he's looking, looking for Guri too. But in the angel form, well, not really angel. But as soon as we went back to a cat, Aqua just like freaked out. But I'm trying to see. Well, I I don't understand how you freak out of a fake angel face possessing a cat body. I mean, you held an angel before. You held an angel, and it walks on wings. Now, it's been a week since Gary's gone. Since Gary disappearance, it's since you're not putting no effort into looking for. Him. I mean, look. Can you forget if if Gary don't do her job as Cupid, he's gonna he's, his soul be gone along with the other people. Like, come on, do you get your facts straight? Now. Akine, you know, for a yandere like her, she's really open. She's like, the stupid monkey's gone. I got him onto myself. I win! You know, like that. But can't blame her for that. They're rivals. Who am I to be wrong about that? And Yuzu, Yuzu's, remember I told, I remember saying this in my reviews before, that Yuzu and Guri, they're like sisters. They, they like sisters. I mean, let's see, they kiss. Well, not that, but they kiss to save the quarrel of the love of the kiss note. They trying to save Akane together. They like sisters. That's why it's important that those two were trying to look. Well, that's well. That's why Yuzu is looking for Guri. See, so yeah, this is why I'm stuttering because this episode was so freaking tight. By tight, I mean Sundru like a fucking ass. Now, Shikimi, I don't know what to say about her. I mean. For a sadistic woman like herself who toys with people's emotions, she's gone way off the end. She was trying to end the relationship between the teacher and the sensei guys. That come on, you're gonna you're fucking it up. And since she had the guts to pull her aside in the gym storage and told her like, you can't mess with love. Love is important. That's not how love is. You can't cheat on somebody. I mean, you can't do this and that. Tough words. Tough, powerful words. But then you talking about the trust, like no one can trust you. Push, slap. Not in the face, but on the door. I mean, the locker room. So I'm like, ooh. Damn. This is the thing. When you don't say powerful words to a yandere or sadistic woman. You don't say any shit like that. Because if you do, you get fucked up. And when you get fucked up, you're going to die. And she came, she pulled off the seduct, so totally sexy, seductive way that that I found that I find it a bit not well, it's hot and all, but 
the way how that was, it was so adult, so, so, eh, sexually. I mean, kissing first, trapped them in the powers with the, that rock, gold, whatever, that thing, stickiness, and then she kissed them, and then was tongue, almost tongue, got him through, like, damn, and even, like, she licking his neck. This is so sexy. I bet some people find that sexy, and it was. And all that time, Guru is sitting on the tree by herself. Now, the way how that is, is that Shimiki plays the role in this. She's the one that causes everybody's emotions intact. She, remember how she, she lures her into a, like a simple cafe and just talk. This it explains how, how they all met. You know, this, I mean, this explains how the communication is. And she can be plays like a freaking role saying, I can eat like her that way, but what your heart tells you. So, Guri asks us honest, one honest question. What'd you think of me? But, Sinji, what the fuck did you just, you were annoying, you was annoying me since day one. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, Sinji, you're, <laughs> I hate that, yo. I'm starting to hate this arrogant ass um, main character right now. Sinji, you a fucking ass, I fucking knew it, but you, this episode made me really hate Sinji. Like, how are you gonna say, um, when they say it's your fault that Guri's like this, but you don't know what you did? What the fuck? Even Yuzu and even Yuzu is better than you right now. She even understand why you what made Guri like this because of you, you dumbass. But how is it his fault exactly? I mean, Guri doesn't know her feelings, and he can't love all of them, so he has to pick. You know, you can like you want to blame him, but you can't. You can't love everybody like that. And Akane is the best choice. I mean, really. I really. Like, she's one of those girls, she's like, she don't care about Guri. Just really. And I really hope that he don't pick up her feelings to Guri like that. And that, like, that same plot that's, that is so tiring right now. Like, I, I can't even, like. But that blunt now, Guri transformation is so beautiful. It, gave, it was so radical. I mean, the wings and the... the <laughs> <laughs> and the freaking pitchfork, the three-pointed pitchfork, and the devil wings, I mean, devil horns, it is so beautiful. It's like going to the land that never was, and you see the greatness of that in Kingdom Hearts. From one world to an evil world, that's how it is. Now, Shikimi san she saw her soul to the devil in the demon world right now, but we get to see, in this part, we get to see Gori's more role as a demon. Yeah, it's like a Antonyms, you know, the opposite. So Guri does love, get people loved. Guri, Guri as a demon, she takes the love away. That's fucked up. She erased all the boy love thing that she's done, which, by the way, makes a lot of sense. I mean, she just shipped boys like that. You can't do it like that. But she eliminated most of the love out of the guys and got a fucking fight going on. And while Guri's out to the demon world, Yuzu's Yuzu's gonna like I gotta save her. I can hear herself. She's like she deserves it. She she's stepping up as a true girlfriend like the rival's done. I got him. But Yuzu got the guts to say to her, "You a big dummy." Like out of the <laughs> the girl you love, you you love your sister. But you're gonna say it right in her face. You lucky she didn't kill you. But honest to God, we knew this was coming. The heart's there. Akane's. Sinji's gonna do whatever he can to get back Guri. And we all know, we read the manga, we all know how this works. From top to bottom, it's gonna end like this. So we all know how next week gonna work, where Sinji's gonna confess his feelings to Guri, and then everything's back to normal. That's how it is. But man, overall though, in this episode, Sinji is a stupid motherfucker. I'm sorry. This episode got me, made me really hate Sinji. Like, not being open up to true love just to, um, to Guri, but it was really radical. And this episode wasn't too comedy, but it was all about the the love, about what love is, confessions, secrets, etc. It was that type of episode. There was no comedy in this, which I wanted to, but damn. That this episode was really like, mm -mm. but next week, I was looking at my calendar, next week is episode 12, the last battle between heaven and hell, to save Guri and become what she is, bring her back. That's all it is. 
So, tune in next week for the season finale of Red Nine Bokan, aka Love Tyrant.